What's up? I'm James with Microvellum and this is Wood Hacks. I hope you're all as excited as I am because we're wrapping up this mini series on 2D drawing instructions. Let's get hacked. All right, all right, all right. We are bringing it all home in this episode. We're gonna take everything that we've learned in parts one through four and put it all together to complete this mini series. In this episode, we're gonna be adding our 2D drawing instructions to our door sub assemblies and then saving them back to the library. There's a ton to go over in this episode, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm back in the project and room where we added our one door base to create our hinge drawing blocks. Now I'm gonna start with the single door sub assembly, save that back to the library, and then we'll make the changes to our left and right doors. First things first, I'm gonna open edit design data and then open the door single slab sub assembly. From there, I'm gonna to go to the prompts tab. Looking at row one, I'm gonna scroll over until I see 2D elevation view instructions. I'm gonna come down to the cell that says end and replace it with a new formula. I'm gonna add an if statement using the formula editor. Our logical test is gonna to look to our local draw hinges and elevation prompt. I'll do the true value in just a sec. The false value is simply going to be a zero. The hinge will not draw if the local prompt is not active. For the true value, I'm gonna use another if statement. For this logical test, I wanna reference the quantity cell of the first hinge in the hardware tab. So I'm gonna type hardware parts, exclamation point, R1 is greater than zero. So if that cell is greater than zero, then I wanna use the draw block token. If it's not greater than zero, then I want this off or zero. Let's insert all of this and then apply the formula. Parameter one is the X origin. For this, I'm simply going to type equals and then go to the hardware tab and select the X origin cell of the first hinge and press enter. Parameter two is used for the Y origin or the vertical placement. Same thing, I'm gonna type equals, go over to the hardware tab and select the Z origin, which is the vertical placement. Parameter three is used to call out the drawing block name. Luckily for us, we have a cell we can copy and modify. I'm gonna come up to the very first cell in this parameter three and copy and paste it. Looking at the formula, we need to make a few changes. In the formula editor, I'm gonna highlight pull type and then type hinge name. Next, I'm gonna highlight just the pull type text from the lookup table and replace it with hinges. Lastly, I'm gonna replace four with nine. Now, what this formula is going to do is look at the hinge we're using, then look to column nine of our global hinge table and return the name of the hinge block we need. Parameter four is used for rotating our token. We're just gonna put in a simple equation here. Equals 180 times right swing SA. So if this happens to be a right swing door, the hinge block will rotate 180 degrees. Parameters five, six, and seven aren't necessary for this example. Parameter eight is for a description, and parameter nine is used to call out the layer. Now, because we set up our Euro block to use the dev points layer, and that still will not print even if we put a layer in here. This layer will only affect blocks that were drawn using a zero layer, like we used for our institutional hinges. Now that we've completed a single drawing instruction, I'm gonna select all the cells and then drag them down so we have a total of seven drawing instructions. Notice the values automatically calculated to the correct values. That's because we use the cell references and dragging updated each reference to the appropriate row. Pretty freaking sweet. All right, now on to the cross sections and we're gonna handle these and another segment of Fun with Functions. This one's gonna be a bit of a doozy. Inside the formula editor, let's add an if statement. Our logical test will look to see if our local draw hinges in section equals one. I'm gonna jump down to the false value and enter zero. For our true value, we're gonna have another if statement. And here's where it's gonna get tricky, folks we're also gonna use an and function. So our value if true, we'll look to see if our 
local product section direction equals facing left and our left swing SA equals one. If both are true, then we'll use the same formula we did for our 2D elevations, which was if hardware parts R1 is greater than zero, then draw block otherwise zero. Okay, it's gonna continue to get a little crazy. Our value if false is going to be yet again, another if and statement. But this time, if our local product section direction equals facing right and our right swing SA equals one, then we're going to use if hardware parts R1 is greater than zero, then draw block, otherwise zero, otherwise zero. Bring that all together and we got a crazy nested if and statement. And that'll conclude this segment of On With Functions. With parameter one, I'm gonna do the same as before, but reference the Y origin in the hardware tab. On to parameter two, the vertical placement. This is the same as the elevations with a slight modification. At the end of that formula, we're gonna add if error, local height above floor minus height, otherwise zero. This is necessary for when the door is used in an upper situation, and it's only required for cross section tokens. Parameter three is basically the same as our elevation, with the exception of returning the value in column 10 instead of nine. Parameters four through seven aren't necessary here, so we'll give a description and a layer in parameters eight and nine. And just like we did for the other elevation tokens, I'm gonna to drag this down for a total of seven. Let's go ahead and save this sub-assembly. I've already tested this and ensured that this is good to go, so I'm gonna to save to project overwrite existing and save to library overwrite existing. To complete everything, we'll need to make the exact same changes to our door left slab and door right slab sub-assemblies so these will work in our two door products. Once you've added those, your elevations and sections will look like this, automagically. I don't know about you, but that was pretty freaking awesome. I love getting into the weeds like that. It really speaks to the nerd in me. And I hope that you can see the potential with the 2D drawing instructions I mean, we only scratch the surface with the draw block instructions. There are many others that you can take advantage of to streamline the way you work. What a way to close out that mini series. Now it's time for you to get hacking away and taking your drawings to the next level. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon in the next episode of Wood Hacks. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm James with Microvelm and huh? what's up? I'm James with Microvelm and this is Wood Hacks. I hope you're all excited. This is Wood Hacks. I hope you're as okay. So I'm back in the Parameter one is the X origin. For this, well that sounded like a farted. Nope, I don't like that. I don't know about you, but that was freaking awesome.